Hello, welcome to Tony's Bonsai. Today I'm going to be showing you some of my ground planted maples, but more importantly, I'm going to be digging up a tree that I planted over a piece of slate around two years ago, just to check the roots out and see how it's going. So let's take a closer look. A couple of years ago, when I was getting into bonsai, uh, I picked up loads of these cheap Japanese maples from the local supermarkets, got them planted in the ground. This is a beauty, this is a Katsura. We've got some Orange Dream, we've got some Butterfly uh, and some standard Atropurpureums and that's what this one that I planted over a slate is. So it's behind me here in the corner. I seem to remember it had a really nice Nabari. So I'm hoping when I dig it up it's got a, a great root base. So let's see. So this is it. After its first year of growth I did some basic chops. It put on some really nice healthy growth last year and it's around sort of four foot tall but i'm going to get my spade and just chop all the way around this root base and then lift it i can see straight away there's one big thick root coming out of that side hopefully that's the only really thick one because i can just cut that off if necessary i wouldn't expect there to be any thick roots at this stage And I'm just cutting around. I don't want to weaken this tree massively and take loads of roots off. I just want to really make sure that there's no big, awkward, ugly roots that are going to be a problem in the future. I may as well, I may as well get those off now, get those removed. So I've cut a circle just over the width of a spade. It's quite awkward filming here because I've got so many trees and, and stuff in the way. It's just planted in normal garden soil this, so I'm hoping that by just loosening off the soil like this it'll, it'll more or less just sort of drop out. As I say, I planted it on a small piece of slate or stone I can't really recall exactly how big it was. I don't think it was massive because the tree was only small. Here we go. There. Lovely. Right, there's the piece of stone or brick or whatever it is. Let's have a look. Oh, it was a decent size. And has that given me the, the nice flat root base? It has indeed, look at that. Look how flat that is. Wonderful. Okay, the tree's out of the ground. I think before I clear these roots up and decide what to do, I'm just going to remove some of these dead branches and just have a look at the structure of the tree. Just on first basic inspection, the Nabari looks to be best from this side. Although there are roots going all around, but these, these are the most interesting. So this does naturally make the best front here. And if this is the front, then I'm quite happy with the structure, how it's all developing. I'll remove this dead, dead section there. That can go. Again, I left stumps last year. Maples are very prone to die back as we all know. So, right. I don't think there's anything major that I particularly want to do with this tree. Just maybe remove some of these little branches that are growing in the centre. They're no good. Oh, I've got another stump down there to be removed. Yeah, but apart from that, I'm quite happy really. I've got a couple of branches coming from the same place here. So one of those can go. But I don't want to reduce the vigor of the tree. I'm quite happy 
for this to be allowed to grow on nice and healthily have another year of good solid growth just to thicken this trunk up really I want this to go probably at least twice as big as that so that's enough pruning for that let's take a look at these roots as I look around the tree there's only one major kind of bad root and I suppose it's that one I'm just wondering if if the tree was planted at an angle whether whether that could be kept as part of the composition I'm not sure it's not too bad and it does go down further on and the, but however there is a nice root below it there which is at the better height that's more like the height that I want the root base to be at so I think this thick one can go I'll get rid of that I thought this would be going there and that now means that all of the rest of the roots they're all kind of sitting on more or less this same plane this will be the front now these are all coming out nicely so I don't really want to do anything else to that I've got a bit of an ugly root there well that's okay that'll heal over other than that with it having been sat on the tile there's nothing else for me to do I think this can just go back in the ground now I, and I'll hopefully bury this side a bit deeper because there's not much root happening over here in fact a couple of these roots they don't look great I'll cut them off at that downward that's dead that's dead that root hmm yep yeah. ooh wonder why that's died you can see there's no fine roots coming off it at all yeah well there might be a bit of a live bit at the back of it mm, it looks pretty dead to me there we go it's gone it was quite a big one it's a bit of a shame however fortunately it's at the back of the tree so that can always be hidden and hopefully we'll get some new roots emerging from that cut point there from that cut site with a bit of luck so this now can go got an upward facing branch there this can just go back in the ground and be left to grow for another year before I do plant this in the ground I'll just show you the underneath and obviously look how flat that is this is where that stone was sat so it's created a lovely perfect for bonsai really nice and flat like that that's ideal I put the tree back in the ground I planted it back on top of that flag and I reversed it through 180 degrees so the area with very little root is round this side and all the good roots are around there so I'm thinking that the water and the sun hitting all this will encourage new root growth to come this way that's the plan anyway this tree here is one of the cheap supermarket trees two years in the ground and it's a lovely little orange dream and I've got some nice movement in that with wire this is my largest katsura and that's got quite a chunky base over an inch wide it's probably an inch and a half at the very bottom that and this is a nice little twin trunk I'm not sure what that is it could be katsura could be an orange dream or I don't know one of the common requests I get is if I can do a tour in my bonsai garden as you've seen I wouldn't really even call it a bonsai garden everything's in washing up bowls on the floor crammed in because I've got hundreds of trees I've got too many trees basically however it makes filming them really difficult so I tend to do my updates in my daily videos and I'll be showing you in the spring and the summer what's happening to all my projects with a bit of luck everything's going to come alive there's lots of buds happening everything seems really healthy and I think within the next few weeks we're going to have leaves everywhere and uh, 
looking forward to it. As always, thanks for joining me. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.